Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Crusader Kings 2. Indeed. We've got some wars going on for Malta. Ord has expanded. I am no longer broke. And I'm waiting for my leash to die. Well, you know, the, uh, um... Malta has hired a bunch of... Uh, oh, he's got... He's sitting on a, a pretty hefty, uh war chest. He's hired troops and that's why your liege is not landing there. Yeah. So he I guess the question do is, do you want him to lose this war? I I don't care one way or the other. I mean... Because I could join it and no. just smash that, so... I just let him do what he wants. I mean, you can always just peace out if you inherit or something like that. Because otherwise it's just going to keep sitting there. Right. But eventually, one of them is going to run out of cash. I suppose that's true. Uh, let's see... Your liege has not hired anyone. Yeah. This is just... So that's not a problem. This is just yeah. bites you. But, I mean, the Malta, he's got... He's got Thousand. years. Yeah. He's got years to uh, um, get that taken care of, so... Alright, let me go ahead and unpause. Sure. Rank up in the society. I am spying on my incredibly awful uh, Mysticos. I want to uh, steal his stuff. Thank you for promoting me, by the way. Oh, I'm I'm in I'm in charge. Oh yeah, I am in charge. Sweet. Uh, let's see. My vassal Strategos Zacharias of Aegean Islands has requested that a lower rank vassal should serve him rather than me directly. Um, pretty sure I set this up uh, specifically uh, not to do that. I can do. I like my other vassal better, and he would get a claim on. Zacharias. And then that guy would not like me. Well, his opinion of me is negative 99 anyway. <laughs> so yes, I most definitely like my other vassal better who has an opinion of 100 towards <laughs> me. What does he get? He gets a strong claim on the theme of Aegean Islands. I don't think he's going to be able to do anything with that, but... Okay. Oh well. Oh, jeez, look at all that sickness in your area. It's absolute pain. I've inherited a barony. Uh, yep. Son was born to uh, my son-in-law. My, my son-in-law? Whatever. He's of my dynasty, so. My relations with Basileus Pelagios II is strained. To uphold the virtue of diligence is a vital... Is, 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 uh, it is vital to show loyalty and steadfastness. Show him my good deeds. His opinion uh, would change by ten. Uh, bend my knee to uh, my liege. Um, so the only difference here is that I would gain ten whopping prestige. <laughs> wow, ten prestige. Oh, man. Uh, yeah, um, just like my diligence, please, sir. Screw that. All of a sudden, just by jumping in here, the leisure's like, oh, look, I'll come. Oh, jeez. Holy cow. Um, your liege has decided to, uh, join a rebellion. Hmm. Silly boy. I've produced an excellent paper on distillation. Well, send it out and I'll rub a stamp. Uh, Prince Neophytos' claim on the Byzantine Empire. This random guy is now my prisoner. 
people are endorsing it. Oh, you decided to help out your liege? Yeah, that's a, but it's just embarrassing otherwise. Aw, oh, I should have let him go. Let him do it. I mean, you could have just uh, pieced it out or, or taken it. I'm trying to fabricate a claim down there. I figure if you want the city later, I'm happy just to... Yeah, my worry is that uh, your liege is going to declare war on him uh, and take it. Or the uh, whoever holds it, this city. Uh, I found out nothing new and useful about uh, Cristoforo of Tuscany, but as my shady informant pointed out, there is nothing preventing me from making stuff up. The bigger the lie. These revolts are just... No, Cristoforo is having an affair with a feisty goat. Um, well, no, not the goats. Vicious rumors. Fourteen percent chance that he finds out that I started the rumors. That's fine. Oh, yeah, I'm not diseased. Open the gate. I possess a great mind. Enough peers have endorsed my paper. That's good. He's. Hmm. Blasphemous feelings will soon pass. <laughs> I do not gain depressed. Yay. So I can send an artifact if I so choose, but I don't think I want to. Oh ho! My liege, my work in Malta seems to have come to fruition by bribing, cajoling, extorting, threatening, and forging documents. I have managed to fabricate a claim on the county of Malta. How much is this going to run me? 407 gold. I can afford that. Go for it, then. Um, the downside being that uh, your liege has uh, 1,100 troops there. Oh, well, I think he's going to lose those. Yep. That's his fault for not getting them home. Yep. <clears throat> All right, let me go ahead and get some uh, get my fleets and everything lined up. Actually, I should do this. Luca. One reason I'm not particularly worried about the Byzantine Empire trying to declare war against, like, they're having a revolt every 10 minutes, so. Yeah. Well, the problem is that also, it, I mean, you, you are lucking out a little bit in that, uh, um. Oh, that's because of the uh, trade post there. Um. Your. The size of that that revolt uh, is protecting you from getting a, uh, a holy war declared on you. Yeah. Bad day to be with Basilius, or Basilica in this case, because she's already succeeded. Oh, it's a new one. Last one died of cancer. Oh yeah. Huh. Well. That would explain why uh, that second uh, revolt happened, because they don't mm. like women. Exactly. Like, I think I'd get my money out of the campaign fund. I didn't actually declare war. That is a problem. I raised up all my troops and I didn't actually declare war. Ah, uh, sorry about that. That's going to be, uh, what is the bit of micro there. I'll just keep this thousand gold in the campaign fund.
So I need to uh, get all my troops back on, back off their boats, and frustrating, isn't it? Disband. This was this was kind of dumb. Sorry, I'm. It's perfectly taking right. so much time here. Oh, I got this uh, tapestry last time. I don't think I announced it. A beautiful tapestry depicting a scene from a market on the Silk Road. Looking at it, one can almost hear the jingle of coins and the chattering of a dozen languages. Quality nice. 2, bill cost minus 2%. Monthly prestige, plus 0.1. Yeah, some really nice uh, artifacts that you can get. Hmm. But I'm going to have to start saving my grace because I'll need 5,000 to destroy the Byzantine Empire. Yeah, and you should be you should definitely be looking at things that you can get. Um... Uh, due to uh, increase your grace as well. Mm. Once I um, once my cooldowns wear off, I'll invite some high intrigue people to send off as eunuchs or something. <laughs> I could go on a pilgrimage though. Let's do it. Ooh, two hundred gold. All right, did I get rid of everything? Let's see. Yep, yep, all right, good. Now I will declare the war. Jeez. Got a little bit too excited there. Play Malta, that's mine. There we go. Not sure what would happen if I, uh, um called you in on that. Because your liege is currently hostile to me there. I imagine I can't join. I don't know. You can drive if you like. Nah, I, I don't need it, so. So why bother? Yeah. If I'm forced to refuse, I wouldn't like to lose a couple thousand prestige, so... Yeah, no, I mean... I... I'm pretty sure that if there was something that prevented, you know, like, physically prevented you from, uh, doing it, you wouldn't actually lose prestige. Because you don't lose prestige on every, uh, um... On every... Refusal. Hmm. Not, I can't recall exactly what the uh, requirements are. <clears throat> oh my goodness. Jerusalem. I'm just scrolling through my trade post income. I'm like, oh, this is all fine. Oh, wait. Jerusalem and Jaffa are like a hundred gold. <laughs> nice. So, uh, uh, compared to... Compared yeah. to uh, how much for other ones? Like 20 for others. Oh, wow. Holy yeah. cow. I shall visit Jerusalem. <laughs> Let's go on a pilgrimage to my own land. Yeah, go on a pilgrimage to your, your vacation home. Yeah. I shall go visit Auntie Patris. <laughs> My journey begins, and Jocelyn is Midas touched. And I now have the County of Frank. Cost me a thousand gold. Let me uh, just go borrow some money from these Jews. There we go. You actually have the county, or you have a claim? I have the claim for them. Oh, okay. Well, now you need to uh, make sure that you're going to. Um Survive control. my liege, yeah. Yeah, survive. Well, might be a little bit of uh, time for an assassination. I would kill him in a heartbeat, but he's only got, what, 29% possible plot power. Really? Yeah. Wow. Initial plot power 16%, possible plot power 29 It's just. Too many people like him. Uh, let's see. I could get 26.6 to 39.3. Yeah, mm, wow. Not much to 
much I can do about that. You guys better stay out of my, uh, my lands, too. Uh, let me just uh, go through some events here. Alright. I've arrived at Jerusalem. It's a very pretty place. I'm just going to fast that up and speed through that. Um, I have made company of a holy knight. And, uh, how unexpected to make a new friend. Okay. Hmm. I've made friends with a member of the Teutonic Order. Great. He's Thanks. terrible. And we shall study the skies, apparently. And I'm now kind. Cool. Oh, more events, Ben. Hey, a beautiful feed new feeding a realm. That's a pretty good item. Let's get to that one first, shall we? Okay, everyone knows I've spent over a decade conducting the work on my book. Uh, maybe I should have dedicated the demons in my head. Gain 100 prestige. And it is... Monthly wealth plus three. Yeah. Any administrator would be lucky to get their hands on this time, filled with householding tips for a more economic administration and distribution of essential resources. And it does actually have a knife and fork on the cover. Okay. I wonder. I can now carefully observe the sky. One of the women in my prison is now a fortune builder. <laughs> And a 50% chance to gain Gregarious. I'll take it. And I'm no longer shy. I'm now Gregarious. My uninspired modifier expires... Uh, my uninspired modifier expires in... 921. Okay. 20 years for me. And Han armies are marching for the realm of Kargan Otimus. Could end the... For what? Spell the end of Khazarian independence. Ah... Oh. Makes sense because the Western Protectorate's already got all of Mongolia, so. Yeah. Okay, carry on. I'm landing in uh, Malta with 13,000 troops. My pilgrimage is finished. Might be a little bit overkill. I think it was worth it. Got kind of gregarious. <laughs> I captured the guy. Well, well that overkill. Oh. <laughs> hmm. I, I don't know that I will uh, I'll offer peace. Stay in my prison, stay in my prison. No. Aww. Welcome back to the Empire. Go back there. Fortunately, it's still prospering, despite the fact it just got sieged, sieged down twice. That's kind of amusing. Um, am I gonna sack somebody? You're gonna get sacked. Who are you? I'll just. I'll just take the minus 15. So I am over my domain size. Um. Good is this? No, you're eh. not going to be your commander. My wife is no longer my apprentice. Hmm. Um. <laughs> okay, fifty prestige. Apprentice. Who will be my next apprentice? Let's grant this uh, genius guy with a 13 stewardship Malta. Hopefully he will uh, convert this to Italian. It is Greek right now. Looks like he's already in another society. Oh, come on. Seriously? Ecumenical, ecumenical patriarch. Really? This is what you want to do with your, with your life? Is he declaring really what you want to do... <laughs> with your life. Okay. What if I call you into... Oh, you know what? This might not be a good, good idea. Uh, my, um, my friend from the Teutonic Order was ticked off that I forgot to, uh, forgot to go fishing with him. Ah. <laughs> uh, but I can brew him some wormwood stew and he'll be fine with it. So. Excellent. 
Oh, yeah. So, uh, I'm not sure what would happen if I call you into this war. Um... Because we're still enemies, okay. technically. Well, I mean, we're not exactly, but I'm just kind of hoping that you could just, like, raise your, your troops up and siege this guy down right there. Okay. Uh, your, your, your liege was in the county, but he's not now. Yeah. So, do you mind if I call you in? Give it a crack, see what happens. Okay, I accept. And yeah, it's fine. Okay. Okay. Rose troops. Oh, look, there's six... 8,000 <laughs> troops there. How did that happen? So weird. And I got raiders. Why, why, are, you not, why are you moving out of the place? Thank you. Yeah, I got a... A rather large host there in Luca. It's rather rude. All right, well, it is about time to end our uh, episode. Uh, so when we come back next time, uh, we will go ahead and... That's not even worthwhile. Um, yeah. We'll take care of that little war from the uh, ecumenical patriarch. I will take care of this stupid, stupid host. And hopefully eliminate uh, this Norse guy entirely. Just, you know, destroy him, rend him limb from limb, that sort of thing. Because that's, that's really what host raiders deserve. Yeah, although one thing I'm personally annoyed about, Jocelyn's just come of age, he's mm -hmm. minus touched, and he won't accept an invitation to my court because you're a high tier. Um, alright, who is this? This is My Jocelyn brother. Magister. Okay. Yeah. I think I once I become that... king, then I can do it, but... Yeah, I'm wondering if there's a way that I can do something about that. Uh, let's take a look in between episodes, see if there's something I can do to, to kick him out into your court or something like that. Fair enough. Alright, uh, but that will be next time. See you then, everyone. Take care.